In this video, we'll talk about feeding in cows and birds. Starting off with cows, do cows eat all the time? I mean, we have all seen cows standing around chewing and chewing. Does that mean that they're constantly eating? Well, not really. So what's going on? Let's find out. You see, animals like cows and buffaloes mainly feed on grass. First, they grab grass and give it a quick chew before swallowing it into their special stomach. And what makes it special? Unlike us, cows have a four-chambered stomach. The largest chamber is called the rumen. Think of it like a giant soaking tank where food gets softened and partially digested. After some time, this partially digested food is brought back into its mouth and the cow rechews it slowly and carefully. This process is called as rumination and the animals who follow this process are called as ruminants. Believe it or not, a cow spends nearly 8 hours a day just chewing. Bringing partially digested food from the stomach into the mouth, chewing it and pushing it down into the rumen and again bringing it back to reach you. And this is exactly why we feel a cow eats all day long. The thoroughly chewed food then passes down the alimentary canal somewhat like this following this path to undergo further digestion. But why do we need so much chewing in the first place? Because grass, which is the cow's primary source of food, is packed with cellulose, which is a very tough carbohydrate. That's super hard to break down. And this chew and rechew cycle significantly helps with this breakdown. Apart from this, the cow's rumen is home to billions of tiny microbes, bacteria, protozoa and even fungi that produce special chemicals that chop cellulose into simpler nutrients that the cow can absorb. In fact, without these tiny partners, cows could munch on grass all day long and still starve. So the microbes in the cow's rumen help a great deal to ensure that the cows get all the required nutrients from grass. On a similar note, did you know that humans can't digest cellulose? Why do you think that is? Well, here's the reason. Humans don't have a rumen and we don't have those special microbes living in our stomach to make chemicals that chop cellulose. So, when we eat food that is rich in cellulose, like salads, vegetables or fruit skins, the cellulose just passes through our digestive tract as fiber. And that's actually good for us. Fiber keeps our digestive system healthy and helps in a smooth bowel movement. So, while cows turn cellulose into nutrients with their microbial partners, humans use cellulose as roughage to keep things moving along. So that was about feeding in cows. Now let's move on to birds. Birds eat all sorts of things. Seeds and fruits for sparrows and pigeons, nectar for hummingbirds, worms for hens, even leftovers for crows. But here's the problem. They don't have teeth. So how do they break the food? When a bird swallows food, it first passes through the esophagus into the first part of the stomach which is called as the proventriculus. Here, digestive juices soften the food, kind of like marinating it. This softened food then moves on to the next chamber which is called as the gizzard. The gizzard has thick muscular walls that squeeze and churn the food. And here's the coolest trick. Birds, they swallow tiny pebbles or bits of grit which stay inside the gizzard. And together with the muscular grinding, these pebbles crush the softened food into smaller bits. It's almost as if the bird carries a portable mixer grinder of its own. So teeth, no teeth, four stomachs or tiny stomach stones. Nature always finds a way, isn't it?